Five suspects in that brutal attack on NYPD officers near Times Square are set to face a judge today. Lizette Nunez, she is at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan with the very latest. Good morning, Lizette. Good morning to Shawnee. Well, the PBA has been present for most, if not all, of these court proceedings. And the PBA president went on to say that he was happy to learn that two suspects have been held with bail. But he believes that should have happened since the start. They have no regard for police officers. They are just trying to stay out in the streets of the city of New York and commit crimes. PBA President Patrick Hendry reacted as a migrant connected to the Times Square beatdown of two officers is once again in the system. 19-year-old Darwin Iskiel was picked up by police and went to court. He was held on a $100,000 cash bail after being accused of shoplifting at a Macy's at Queen Center Mall and allegedly punching an employee that tried to stop him. Our justice system did its job. $100,000 is significant. This should have been from the beginning, from the first four who were released on their own recognizances. An eighth person was arrested in the attack and was picked up at the Randalls Island Migrant Shelter. Yesterday, Ulises Bojorquez put his head down as he walked in front of cameras. He was also held on a $100,000 cash bail. Prosecutors say he kicked one officer's foot and grabbed the other one's leg. Today, five other defendants in this case will be back in court, including Yohenry Brito, who was released after a church in Bay Ridge posted his $15,000 bail. As far as two other defendants that are part of this case, they're named Calvin Arrocha and Wilson Juarez. Well, they are already in ICE custody, and they are expected to be here in court later today. That's lower, lower, later here in uh, Lower Manhattan. We'll send things back inside. Lizette, thank you.